What's up guys? So, we started on the uh, one ton swap on line time, finally. Um, made a decision on what I'm gonna do. Decided I'm gonna go triangulate the uppers on the rear for a four link and the front, I'm gonna be worrying about that later. But for now, this is the axle I decided to go with. Um, it's out of my 2000 F250 7 3 diesel that I decided to scrap. Um, so I pulled the axle out of it and a few other things and uh, it's gonna be going into line time. So I ended up ordering up the truss, uh, mini truss from Barnes four wheel drive. Kind of see, I already kind of started tearing everything off the axle, kind of getting it prepped, getting it fitted and it fits great. So super happy with that. I'm looking forward to getting this done. Uh, but before we even get going on that, I've got to get the axle torqued out. So, a little bit about this axle. Like I said, out of an F250 Super Duty, um, they're the same, really, the Sterling 10 and a half, it's the same from what I know all the way back from like 86, I think, all the way, they've been using them all the way up until 2016. Um, this is the Sterling 10 and a half. They make a 10 and a quarter as well. I mean, they're pretty much the same thing. Um, little small differences, but uh, really the same thing. So before I get into tearing it down, one thing to note is you're gonna need a spindle nut tool. Like it's a special, it's a flange tool to be able to take the nuts off because this is a full float axle, so it's gonna have the hubs on the rear. This one's part number W83008. I picked it up at Advanced Auto. I think it was like 22 bucks. Um, but yeah, you're going to need that to tear it down. Definitely going to need to tear it down. Don't want to be putting a ton of heat into all the seals and all the bearings and everything else. So I want to get it torn down, not have to worry about, you know, damaging anything. Plus it was going to make it a lot easier for mock-up, make it a little bit lighter because this thing is heavy. Um, so we'll worry about getting into the welding and the heat and all that good stuff here in a little bit. But for now, I'm going to start tearing this thing down. So let's get started. What's up guys? So let it cool down overnight. Everything seemed to weld really well. Um, we'll unwrap it, check the welds, make sure everything looks good. And then we'll go ahead and finish up welding the truss the rest of the way uh, to the tubes. So the welds came out pretty well. I'm really happy with them. Got a really good bite into the housing. Everything came out really clean. I'm really happy with it. Check the other side. Yeah, we got really good penetration, really good beads. We got to clean it up a little bit, but first I'm going to go ahead and finish up welding the tubes. And from there, then we can go ahead and clean up the rest of the housing. And I want to go ahead and get this thing painted.
okay, so I finished welding everything up. Uh, came out, came out great. Uh, this thing's super beefy. That that barn swivel drive truss, it, it's it's pretty awesome. Um, for eighty bucks, I don't really think you can beat it. Um, I still got some things to clean up. I got to grind down some of the old welds from the uh, from the perches and and stuff like that. I'm gonna hold off on painting it. Um, just cause I want to get the rest of the brackets from the four link on it. Um, so I'm going to get into that on the next video though. So I'm going to start getting it under there, measuring everything, try to figure out exactly where, where this is going to live. Um, so like I said, check that out on the next video, like, subscribe, comments down below. I appreciate you guys.